Oh, Travis Wayne Goodsell. Oh, wow. uh, should have had another breakout video last night, but I caught YouTube in the act of censorship. They still will not show it on my own homepage when I first click into YouTube, before I sign in. They'll show me the latest video I post. Except for that one. <laughs> they showed the previous video and then the after video. They would not show that one. The big one from last night, nonetheless. Caught you guys in the act. You need to leave me alone, YouTube. <clears throat> so, uh, instead of talking about murder, which I had come up with while I was running, I uh, decided to give you a little follow-up video to the, the one before. Uh, no, the one before the one before, which they also showed. <laughs> on the unsigned in homepage. Uh, and that is the cancel culture generation of Mormon women. I'm recognizing some patterns in the viewership of my... I'm being hacked. You bastards, get away from me. I told you. When the church won the lawsuit, I told you before that when the judges dismissed my case again, I told you before they dismissed the case, I told you before, I told you that no one would leave me alone. The church will not leave me alone. They will continue to put pressure to destroy my life. I, I caught you guys in the act. Anyway, back to cancel culture of Mormon women. The cult cancel culture generation of Mormon women. <clears throat> They're clearly visible. The video I did covered 35 to 44 year olds. Women of that generation will not view anything from me. And uh, I'm up in the tens of thousands per 28 days so uh, it's not that I'm not getting anybody to view <laughs> there are percentages of those 13,000 I think I'm up now uh, 4,000 plus for the last seven days and so uh, yeah, clearly, this 35 to 44 year old generation are exactly the 18 to 24 year old generation that I was experienced and exposed to when I was first divorced, when I was in the 25 to tw uh, 34 generation grab group, <coughs> and told the experience, some experiences, there are many more. <laughs> of uh, the now 35 to 44 year olds but it is very very telling that there is another generational group of women who will not view my video and guess who they happen to be the children of <laughs> is Zeki <laughs> what is also interesting is that the 45 to 54 year olds, which is my generation, uh, there are minimal women. See, I was right since high school. Women don't like me. I don't know why. I've been a good Mormon my whole life. Seriously. 
you think I was an LDS critic my whole life? No, the church turned me into this with their lies. Don't blame me for what the church caused. But, uh, uh, yeah, minimal female viewership from my generation. Uh, apparently the women of my generation do not want anything to do with me. Just a minimal group do. And so, yes, you can see that reflected in the women of the, their children's generation, the 25 to 34 year olds. But also interesting is that that same generation of minimal from my generation of women, they're also suppressing the men, their boys, <laughs> so that there are minimal boys. There are more boys who are rebelling against the cancel culture generation of Mormon mothers. That's also telling. <clears throat> because the 18 to 24 year old boys are daring to view my videos more so than the children of my generation of boys that is very telling uh, this this involves Mormon parenting guys this is a clear-cut example of Mormon parenting right now going on uh, and so the parents of the cancel culture generation of 35 to 44 year olds those are my dominant women who view my channel isn't that interesting that the most viewed generation of women have raised daughters that want nothing to do with anything I say. <laughs> that is bizarre. What happened? Is this cancel culture generation a generation of rebels? Because the guys, they're, they're right up there with the other uh, two generations older than them. So what's, what's going on here? <laughs> Something happened. See, my generation, I rebelled against my parents, but my siblings conformed and complied. So my generation is a mixed bag of rebels versus brain-dead zombie compliance. <laughs> Very, 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 very interessante. And so, yeah, my parents' generation, uh, less women who view, but uh, the seven days uh, has to be understood in the context that the older generations, for the most part, for the seven days, were responding to the breakout video last month, thanks to the prophets checking it out before their meeting. Thursday morning and if you do not understand what I'm talking about and you immediately rush to judgment to say that I don't know what I'm talking about yeah what does it say in the scriptures about those who rush to judgment I had to ban somebody for claiming that I don't know what I'm talking about I know exactly what I'm talking about guys I have not yet done my resume for you <laughs> I keep talking too much, and it keeps getting made into secret archive journals that you will never learn. <laughs> and Geraldo Rivera, when he's 200 years old, will say, We have found the secret vault of TWG, and have found his secret journals. And, uh, yeah, he will be disappointed. The audience will be disappointed then, as they've been so far. <laughs> Al Capone's vaults! <laughs> All right, well, we didn't find anything. <laughs> but it's got to be here somewhere. <laughs> Thank you.
thank you all for rating, viewing, getting high ratings for this viewership, and we suckered you. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yeah. very interesting parenting behavior going on in Mormonism. Very, very interesting. I, wow. The daughters of the cancel culture. Just screw you, mom. <laughs> I'm cancel culture in you, mom. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Dear God. This generation of Mormon women, they must be horrifying. <laughs> Dear God. And the rising generation. Oh, heaven help us all. 